make sure that the distilleries are staying on track on a weekly basis and from that session the information is then plugged into our computer system so I have a graded quality for all the malts going into our inventory for blends, single malts, everything. So I can tell right from day one how happy we were with a particular distillate going into the inventory. The good thing for me is I've got all the key people around the table every week. I have Alan Winchester, I have some of our technical people, I have Neil Corbett, I have a couple of the other distillery managers who all have to sit an annual test to make sure that they can differentiate the flavours and that they can pick up all these different flavours, including myself, we have to sit an annual test to make sure that we can. So around that table every single week I have more than 150 years service in the whisky industry using that new distillate. We're a big company here at Shivas Brothers but round that table we're able to act really quickly on things. You know we have all the key people if we're not happy with a particular distillate we can jump in the car and have done on occasion taking a run up to that distillery that afternoon and you've got everybody there that can sort it there and then. And that, that, that makes, it makes all the difference to be able to react quickly when, you're, when you have something that you're not happy with. Obviously from that session, if there is something that's drifted a little bit, we, we, can, we can chop and change what kind of casks we're putting it into. And it, if you take anything away from today, your, your distillate is really, really important. But number two is your cask. So many people forget about the quality of the cask all the time, you know, and just treat it like a container. It's not, it's not just a container, it's, a, it's an, a maturing container with a limited life. And you, you need to manage those casks within an inch of your life or your product will drift. It will. Your, your whiskey will end up drifting away from where you want to be. I've introduced a, a, an extra step to how we manage our casks here. <coughs> when, it, when a new cask comes into our inventory, we, we hammer a metal tag into the cask, which has the year that it came into our inventory. And every time it's filled again, we will add another tag to that cask. Because there's two things here. People will say, oh, that cask's been filled four times, so it's, gee, was it'll not be any use for anything. But was it filled four times for Valentine's 30 year old or was it filled four times for Valentine's? There is, there is two ways of looking at a cask. Because how many times it's been filled and what the length of time that it's been filled for. So it's important for us to manage that and I think that's what really helps manage our blended stock and manage our Valentine's flavour is how we manage these casks coming in to the nth degree. We make sure that the, 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 the blend when it's being made up has a the exact recipe split that we're looking for is number of fills of the cask. And we're not using casks that have been filled too many times or for too long.